guys we are going to get crafty today so I've been watching um, tutorials all day today and I think I'm ready to attempt my very first Halloweeny wreath so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna make a wreath because I um, I really want to put one on the door my sister's always making them and I'm jealous because I want to make one too so I've been obsessively looking at the Halloweeny wreaths um, the tutorials and I think I'm ready to do it so I went to the Dollar Tree I got all the stuff I need please don't mind my nasty looking nails they're stained yellow because of all of the times that I hand like I paint my nails and that's just what happens when you paint your nails dark colors so don't mind that I have, I'm gonna be painting them over later on um, but anyways let's get into the wreath making the Halloweeny wreath making video this is going to be today's video diary I hope you guys enjoy okay guys so I'm probably not gonna have my beautiful face on the camera so much today so that you guys can see the table and what I'm doing I have a margarita right here Mm, because why not so I'm just gonna show you guys the things that I bought and then I'm probably just gonna turn off the camera put some music on do a little bit of my wreath and then kind of show you guys progress because I really don't know how this is gonna turn out I kind of been looking I was looking at videos and I saw stuff and I just kind of bought a little bit of like anything that just kind of looked really cute so I went to the Dollar Tree and I went to Michael's because the Dollar Tree didn't have any pipe cleaners and pipe cleaners is one of the most important parts of this um, wreath making. So I was like, uh, I need pipe cleaners. So when I went to um, when I went to Michael's, I bought black, just plain black pipe cleaners. Um, this is like a pack of a hundred, way more than I need. Um, I got some really cute ribbon because the ribbon was, everything was 60% off at Michael's, like all, 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 the, blah, 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 all of their fall decor. So my wreath, I'm going to do a witch theme because I love little witches and why not? Um, so I got some cute witchy ribbon. I just bought whatever ribbon that I thought was cute. I like the patterns and just the colors. Um, so I got that. I also got this ribbon too, some little bats and owls. Um, because the colors that I'm going to be doing my wreath is purple, black, and orange, which is typical Halloween colors. Um, and then they had these cute little witches that I think would be cute to stick in the wreath because I'm, they're like little witchy theme. So we have a little witchy witchy here <laughs> and then another one, super cute. So I'm going to stick those in my wreath later on, but not yet. Actually, I better leave them in the bag because as soon as Starla sees it, she's going to want it. Um, and then I got some um, hot glue gun refill thingies because I have like a little hot glue gun, not the big one. I wish I had a big one, but I have the little one. So hopefully those will fit in there. I think they will. And um, of course some lemon heads because <laughs> why not? <laughs> why not? Um, okay, so then Dollar Tree, of obviously you need a wreath, little like a, the base. So I bought the base, it's the wiry one. Um, and I bought this cute little sign that says, come in for a spell. Um, so I plan on, I'm gonna have the wreath and then I plan on sticking this as the centerpiece of the wreath, okay? So you imagine like the little tool all around it and then you have this cute little piece. So I'm hoping it'll work. Um, I think it'll work. I think it'll look kind of cute. I know it seems kind of big. <laughs> I know it seems kind of big. Oh, you guys can't see it. I know it seems kind of big, but um, I think I think it'll work. So we'll see. If it doesn't, then I can figure something else out. It's no big deal. <laughs> they have like they had smaller little signs, which I probably could have bought one. Oh, you know what? I actually have a smaller sign but it has a crystal ball on it. I don't know. There's always, there's always a way. So if, the, if it's, if all else fails, I can go back to the Dollar Tree and buy a smaller sign, but I think that one will work. <sighs> mm, love margaritas. Um, and then 
I last minute pools, I just bought a bunch of leaves, little fall leaves, because I was getting ideas for putting these on top of my ceramic pumpkins, like to hot glue gun them. Um, so I bought these for that purpose, but also maybe if the leaves will look cute to stick them on the wreath itself. I don't know, it's, that's just like a last minute idea. Um, same thing with these cute little scarecrows. I was like, I could probably stick this one in. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see if it goes with the whole thing, but everything was a dollar, so why not? <laughs> now, I bought a little witchy hat. Um, I got the orange one, they had a purple, but I got orange because orange is brighter and I feel like it'll stick out more since I'm going with a witch theme on my wreath. So. I plan on pulling out the hairband part and sticking this like somewhere on top, maybe getting rid of this. I don't know, we'll see if, if the veil, if I keep it or not, or I might trim it. Um, so there's that. This is a little bell. Star is probably gonna come running over here. This is a little bell, it's a door hanger. Not for the wreath, it's for the door. <laughs> my mom's always buying like bells for the front door. And I'm like, oh my God, I need to put that on mine because that's like a nice little warning if someone's you know trying to come in. Um, these cute little felt owls, I thought that was cute. Um, little skeleton skull heads, I don't know. Probably won't put those on my wreath, but we'll see. Like I said, you guys, I didn't really, I was just kind of pulling everything off the shelf because I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do just yet. Um, so let me put these guys back. So I don't make a mess. <laughs> I wasn't sure what I wanted to do, um, so I figured I'll figure it out as I go along. It's just gonna be kind of like an intuitive project. Um, and then in here has, these are little, little witch hat inserts, which are really freaking cute. Um, I got a lot of the tool, like the, this is the decorative mesh. This is what's gonna be like the fur, like the free. <laughs> The, the the wreath itself like so I've got purple blacks and purple blacks and orange so that's gonna be the whole like look of the wreath so I think that'll look cute I wasn't sure how much to buy so I just bought I think I bought like three of each color <laughs> so if I have way more than enough then I can probably do a second project um, and then I saw these these were like pretty cool looking like little tube thingies so I thought oh well if I don't if I wanna add some like some kind of texture to the wreath, I can do like something like that. So I got black and purple. Oh my God, I don't know my colors. I got orange and purple. Um, and then there was just some cute little polka dot pumpkins. So I thought, oh, that would be cute to kind of hot glue gun on the wreath itself too. Like I said, I didn't know, I don't know what, what I'm gonna do. I just kind of got a little bit of everything. So I felt like I had you know variety to choose from i love bats so i think these little bats are super cute same same idea and then oh i got oh i i did get the black one so i did get the black tube too that's cool perfect um and then so i couldn't make up my mind what color would look best but i have this idea because i saw it on a youtube video um since i'm going with a witch theme I had an idea to cut the stockings and have the little witch feet as um, as de like decoration of, of what's hanging at the bottom of the wreath. So I wasn't sure if I wanted the purple stockings or I thought, oh, the green might look cute because I don't have any of the green mesh or anything like that. So I thought, oh, the green might look really cute with it. So I was like, oh, I better buy both because I don't know, <laughs> I couldn't make up my mind. And um, so that's why I have two pairs. And like I said, if I don't use it, you know, I can always use this for Halloween -y decor, whatever. So witchy feet. And, and then I got caution tape because I feel like the crime scene tape because we're gonna be doing a um, display at the library. So I figured, oh, I can use that for that. <laughs> and then um, Dollar Tree had some ribbon. So they had this really cute orange spider web ribbon and I thought that's kind of cute too. And then they had white one, like a white spider web with gold spiders. So I bought both just in case. Um, but I figured Michaels would have cute, cuter ribbon, which they really, they do. So I kind of have a lot to choose from, <laughs> which is nice. I like variety. So that's everything. That is everything that I'm gonna be working with you guys. Um, 
I've never done this before, so I'm really excited to see how this goes. Um, and like I said, I'm gonna show you guys <laughs> progress as I do it. So we'll uh, just keep on watching if you're interested. And don't mind me, I'm just gonna be here. It's trial and error. <laughs> trial and error you guys all right guys so I have just been kind of working on a bunch of the little pieces that are going to be going into the wreath so I put I put a couple in right and as you work your way through it just kind of looks better but so I've been just been making little bundles that are going to be going into the wreath and I've been doing like different ones so I have like a couple just black and orange ones a lot of the purple and black because that's like the main thing I have a couple that have like the ribbon with it so I already put one of those in there so I'm gonna try to kind of like even it all out so it's like a nice little pattern um, and yeah so it's been like it's been pretty fun <laughs> um, it's been fun I I hope I know what I'm doing I think I know what I'm doing um, but like it's just been like trial and error, I guess you could say. <laughs> um, so the the person that I was watching their YouTube channel, they said you put um, 10 of the bundles in every section of the wreath. So that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> 10 for every section. Um, and I wanna kinda like even it out so it's not like, I wanna have it, somewhat in a pattern <laughs> because I'm just anal like that so I'm hoping it comes out really cute I think it will it just it kind of looks weird when you first start it because it's not in any like really design or anything but even the girl said that <laughs> when you first start it's not gonna look like much but then as you keep going and you start adding it and you push it all together it just kind of like it kind of it just works so Hopefully, I think that's what's gonna happen here. So, it's really cute. I'm having fun. I find myself getting, oh, I mean, actually, I should turn this one over. Um, I find myself getting really like creative with the bundles, like, oh, I could put this ribbon with this. So, I have to kind of keep it somewhat in order because I don't want to have like it too ridiculously like. <laughs> All over the place but yeah I don't know if I'm gonna finish this today because <laughs> it's it takes a while to like you got to cut the pieces you got to just put them together and they're all done with pipe cleaner you guys like there's no like the only time you're using a glue gun is if you are um, when you're putting the, the, the backing on this or if you're gluing on like the little characters or whatever things that you bought that's the only time that you're using the glue gun. So other than that, you're not um, you're not really using the glue gun. So see, kind of like, and then you could, then then you go out, you go through and like fluff it all up, you know, like you fix your ribbon and all that. But I'm just kind of putting it all on there, just just how. But isn't that cute? So I think it's gonna look cute. Um, so that's what I'm going to just keep doing and hopefully it comes out really cute. I'm excited. So this is giving me something to do. I love it. I'm just so excited. So I have to make sure I just stay on track because I don't want to like get sidetracked with other things. One, two, three, four, five. So this is five right here. So five more. And then as you can see, it'll be bunched up. So, um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have like the black, white, and I mean the black, oh, I don't know my colors today. <laughs> The bundles with just the black, orange, and um, purple. And then I'm gonna have like one ribbon bundle and then I'm gonna do maybe like one or two of these on either side. I don't know, I haven't decided. So I did another ribbon bundle that's probably gonna go down here. So like if I have one like, I don't know. But yeah, <laughs> I did some of these too. I did just like a regular purple one. So, I don't know, I'm just testing it out. I, I may or may not use them and just wanted to kind of see what it looks like. I did this cute bundle with the, um, with the spider web ribbon. So, 
I think that's super cute. <laughs> so I don't know, we'll see. We'll see what I choose to do, but you can get crafty. So yeah, you know, you can add that in there. Yes. All right, you guys. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and work on this some more. So my wreath is over there on the table. <laughs> I had to move it out of the way because it's starting to build up. Um, oh, I think I ran out of orange. Um, it's starting to build up its size. <laughs> and so it was sticking to like everything. And I'm like, I need to move you because I need more space. Once you get the hang of like cutting it, rolling it, I've been using my little clippy thing to hold it together for me. Um, it kind of goes fast. So you just have to kind of get into your, into your groove. And then once you get into your groove, it like it does it goes by fast so um i'm going to let's see if i can move this over okay so this is the wreath so far it looks really cute um, okay, so I just put the black, yellow. So I think I'm due now for another ribbon one. Actually, I could probably do a couple more. Just a couple more, maybe one or two. Or actually. Let's do a. A ribbon one, <laughs> a ribbon one. <laughs> so yeah, um, once you get into the groove, it goes by pretty fast. So I'm pretty much at the halfway point now. And like I said, once you have like more of these like ribbon things on the wreath, it gets a little bit harder to get everything. <laughs> everything in so obviously I'm gonna fix my ribbons and stuff after but I'm just I'm just gonna work on getting everything tied into this portion I think I've been putting about 10 of them in um, per section but <laughs> um, sometimes I think I'm only getting like eight or nine I don't think I'm getting all 10 because it does get a little tight and I think it's because I'm using um, three colors instead of just two so, which is fine, um, cause then it's like, I don't have to use as much, but I, I just, I freaking love it. I think it's so cute. <laughs> I love it. So I'm gonna put this on my front door. And honestly, you guys, like my husband, he's, um, he's doing his ride along for his job and I wanted something to keep me busy just something to kind of keep me out, like keep me busy. And this, I've been working on this for, it's what, gonna be six? I've been working on this for two hours, started at four. So, I freaking love it. Oh my God, I love Halloween. <laughs> I love Halloween. It looks so cute. I guess I could put another orange and black one now. Aren't these cute? Like, I... <laughs> oh my god. Uh, okay. <laughs> I love Halloween. I love it. This is my favorite time of year. But it's hot today, you guys. It was like almost 100. And I don't usually go out in the middle of the day when it's hot like that. I usually like to hide in my, in my house. But I was out and I really felt that summer heat. And yeah. It kind of... 
it kind of took away, oh my God, look at how cute. It kind of took away from the whole feeling of fall because it feels like fall in my house. Like I have the candle going and it smells like pumpkin in here, but it's hot outside still. <laughs> like it's really hot. <laughs> my husband's gonna like this. He likes, um, he likes Halloween too. And he was the one that was, he was the one that was telling me, babe, make a wreath, just make one. Like, cause every single time we would go look at Halloween stuff, I was always like, oh, I wanna, um, I wanna buy a wreath. And he's like, babe, just make one. And I'm like, but he was telling me to do it with the foam and like just sticking the little characters and the leaves and stuff in it. But when I started looking up, oops, when I started looking up, um, tutorials I was like so cute so the ribbon ones I stopped using this purple thing because it doesn't really it doesn't really do much so I'm gonna end up taking this those out but I yeah I stopped using the purple because I didn't really care for it I was like it's, it's an extra step and it's not looking as cute as I thought it would so you're not gonna work and then um I have to figure out how I'm gonna put this on my door because I forgot to, I forgot to look for one of those like door hanger thingies for the wreaths and um, cause I wasn't sure if it was gonna work on our door cause we have like one of those like nine foot tall doors. It's freaking huge. And so I'm like, oh, uh, I don't know if that's gonna work. <laughs> so cute, I'm so in love. I'm so in love with my witchy wreath. Oh, you guys, it's so nice having my husband home. I'm telling you, like, Luna is happy. I'm happy. We're all happy. <laughs> it's so nice having him home. Tomorrow, um, he flies back, so I get a little bit extra time with him because he's flying, so I could drop him off at the airport, like, late, and because um, he's flying in late. So it's kind of nice because it gives us some extra time together and um, I'm going to squeeze in another one of those and then put a, another ribbon one. Um, it gives us extra time together because I don't, I don't get to see him much today because he had to do his ride along. So um, tomorrow we're going to go down to his mom's house and because his parents want to see him because he's not coming home next weekend. So his parents want to see him and he wants to go get his hair cut by his own bar, like his original barber. <laughs> so um, I told him, well, I'll just tag along because um, I want to hang out with you too. So it'll be nice. I haven't seen my in-laws in a while, so it'll be, it'll be nice. Oh my God, this looks so freaking cute. I'm so in love. Wow. <laughs> okay, I think it's time for another ribbon. Can I put this? I'm pretty sure I could squeeze it right here. Well, I don't want to overdo it, but I guess we'll just see how it looks. I should probably put the black one in. And I have so much mess. Like I have all this tool stuff on my floor. And Starla kept trying to bite. She kept trying to like run off with the ribbon and stuff. And she finally gave up and she's curled up on her cat tree and she's asleep right now. So I'm like glad because it lets me, she's not bugging me and I don't have to worry about making sure she doesn't run off with something and chokes on it. So, oh, and oops. Perfect. So now I gotta cut more pieces. So what I do is like I cut little pieces of the tool. So I have like all the, my purples. Ugh. And then um, and then I just sit and put them together. And once I have a good amount, then I work my way on putting it on the wreath. And it just looks so cute. <clears throat> and it's all Dollar Tree stuff, you guys. So, super cheap, <laughs> like super cheap. Because I didn't really know like what um, little 
accessories I wanted to put on my wreath I was like buying kind of like a little bit of everything so I spent I spent like a little bit more than I wanted like I was giving myself a budget of $25 because I wasn't sure like how much of this stuff I was gonna need and all that and I ended up spending $35 I think 35 30 or 35 um, but I think I'm gonna have extra of this. I think I bought four of each color, three or four of each color. And this is my, I think this is my third roll. So I think I'm gonna have, I'm totally gonna get enough on just the third roll, but I don't know, we'll see. So kind of cool. I guess if I did the math of like how many of these little squares I had to cut out and then how many I was gonna need I would be able to figure it out, but <laughs> I don't think that way. I just, I just buy what I need and then I, so I don't have to worry about it. I'd rather have extra than not enough. So I need the black. Where's, where's my black one? Oops. Oh, I'm going to have to make my dinner soon. can't reach it. I have everything in here because Starla, she was going through all my stuff. Yes, baby girl, I'm talking about you. Okay. Yeah, I think I bought four of each of these, so I'll definitely have like an extra roll, which is okay. So I'm gonna cut this off so I have it even. But yeah, you guys, um, I wanted to do a craft. So, I figured this would be kind of fun. I don't know. <laughs> um, so, we're almost done with the month of September. We have a couple weeks left, and I've been getting a lot of orders from my clients for readings, and I'm really excited to do a seance reading. Um, one of my clients booked the seance I have, so I'm excited to set space and just do that. I'm not gonna be posting it public because um, those are more intimate. So you guys won't, it won't pop up on my YouTube channel, but I'm excited to do a seance reading for my tarot stuff. And then I really wanna set a goal for myself to start blogging um, because I really want to utilize my website more and um, just start blogging you know I want to put like tarot blog posts and just stuff like that but I have to like get myself into into the mood of blogging and it's kind of hard to do that when I don't when I've never really made a habit of it so <laughs> but I really want to do that um, so we'll see. I was telling myself, like, I don't know what's going to happen in the future. Like, I've talked about it, I think I've talked about it before, where I've mentioned that um, a year from now, once my husband's, like, really settled into his career, um, I may not have to do cackling, I mean, I may not have to do my day job anymore. Um, like that, that's, it's going to be a decision for me to make if I want to continue working a day job or if I want to just focus on cackling moon full time, um, because our finances will be different, you know, once he's really, really working, like he's not getting, he's not in training anymore. Our finances are going to change and, um, it'll give us a little bit more freedom to do things that we couldn't do before. And one of those things being um, not needing my income as much. I mean, my income will be a great addition, like a great, like, <laughs> to build the savings and stuff, like that kind of thing. But um, we won't need my income to, like, survive like we do right now. Like, I need to work right now. <laughs> I need to work right now. Like, we need that, that extra money. Um, but we'll probably get to a point where... I won't, I won't need that and I won't need to do that. 
and I could focus on Kathleen Moon, which is, you know, something I'm really passionate about and I'd love to do, and I'll still be bringing in money. It just won't be a steady check. So I have that on my mind, and I know that, um, I know it's a matter of when, because I know that I'm not going to stay doing a day job forever, um, but it's a matter of when, because, ooh, this one's kind of all nasty. It's a matter of when, because, um, um, keeping the, the day job, that paycheck, we could build our savings up. So I think it's like, it would be smart to do that for a while. Um, but like I said, it's not going to be forever. And when I do make that decision to fly, <laughs> um, I want to, you know, do something different with Cackling Moon. And I really want to like start blogging and just YouTubing more and coming, like approaching my business my little business from that kind of a standpoint so that's what I want to do um, and that's kind of what's going to be happening next year not this year no, this year is just us getting used to the new the new finances that we're going to be in like the new his new check and just getting used to this the new lifestyle of the type of job that he's doing um, that's going to be a big change for both of us him him a huge change but me um, you know, being a wife to um, law enforcement is different. It's a different, it's a different kind of lifestyle. And um, I'm kind of used to it, sort of, because I grew up um, with first responders in my family. And so I'm kind of used to that lifestyle, but it's gonna be different with a husband doing that. So, um, we're going to be learning our new routine together and and all of that so did i already run out of purple <laughs> i already ran out of purple but i could work on those black and orange ones so yeah you guys um it's i'm excited for that i'm excited for my husband starting out his dream job i mean there's just so many things to be excited over and there's so many so many changes that's going to be taking place in our life together um, so I'm just really looking forward to what's what is to come and I'm really excited to see what the universe has in store for us because um, I think it's been <laughs> it has been a journey that's for sure <laughs> it's definitely been a journey um, sure I tie all these together <laughs> you know what let me do this one first oh, this one's hard like tying this little thing in a bow like to get everything together I just have to make sure everything is pinched together so that I can wrap this like that I think that's gonna grab them all I think I think <laughs> okay and then once I do that oh my god obviously I didn't get them all <laughs> um omg why is this so hard it was not hard earlier Like I, little things like that, I just can't hand. I I can't stand doing this kind of stuff. Like little bows. I'm sure that there's an easier way to do this, but I am almost positive that there's an easier way. Oh, you guys, life is so crazy the way it is. Life is crazy. I'm telling you. There we go. Um, when I look back on, like when I look at where me and my husband are at right now versus where we were at at the very beginning, like when we first moved in with my parents and I just, and I, I just think about like how we felt and how frustrated we were because not because of my parents, but we were just frustrated because we had to sacrifice. We had to sacrifice a lot. 
And, and then we gained a lot too. I mean, it wasn't just a bad experience. It definitely wasn't because I'm so thankful for that opportunity. Um, but it was hard, you know, being late bloomers and then finally living on our own to have to move back in with my parents. And my parents aren't the, they're not the easiest people to live with because <laughs> they're so conservative. So that looks like a hot mess, but whatever. Um, so since they're so conservative, but um, we were so fortunate to save the money and to pay off the debt. It was just such a, we needed that. So, but it was like, man, when we were going through all that, I remember I was thinking about the day when I would finally have a house and it just felt so impossible. Like it felt like it was never going to happen. Um, and then now that I look, now that I look at where we're at now, it's just like, dang, um, it all came together. Like it literally all came together. We were so patient, so patient because I'm telling you guys, there were times where we were just like, let's just move back into an apartment. Like there were times where we were looking back for an apartment just because we were just so frustrated. And we were just like, oh, we're never gonna get a house. Like the house, the whole house thing just felt, it felt almost impossible. Uh, you know, it did. There was a point where I was just like, are we able, are we going to be able to do this? Because he was doing his other job at the time. So his income was uh, significantly less than what we're, than our income right now. Um, so it was, it was, it was really scary. <laughs> um, but we did it. We freaking did it. And when I look back now, it's like, dang. It just, it's just crazy how everything just comes together. I love it. So, I'm just really fortunate. I'm so grateful. These experiences, it's taught me so much. Um, but, I wouldn't want to go through that again. <laughs> Like, I'm gonna, I'll be real with you guys. Like, I wouldn't want to go through that again. But, you know, I'm glad that we did it. So, okay, you guys. Um, I will show you the last bit. I will show you the end product because I am going to finish this. But I want to go outside and water my grass before it gets dark. And I'm going to finish this and then make dinner. So, stay tuned, you guys. And here's the finish, finished product, you guys. So, <laughs> come in for a spell. <clears throat> I think it came out so cute. I love it. All the colors matched. And I ended up going with the purple witchy feet. I didn't want them too long, so isn't it so cute? I can't wait to hang it up. I'm almost like, I don't even want to put it out on the outside door because I'm afraid someone's going to steal it. But I am quite proud. <laughs> Yum. 